Well, unexpected turn of events for today. We're stopping by uh, BMW for a little something something. Mm. Well, do we have an exciting video for everybody today? Starting out at BMW, but it's not it's not what you think, right? Nah. It's not what you, it, it might be what you think. Yeah, you'll, you gotta watch. <laughs> it might be what you think. But as you guys know, we recently sold the AE86. I told you guys we were selling that car to dip into something bigger and better. And I kind of wanted, we have so many 90s JDM cars and Japanese cars. I kind of want to dip my toes in something a little bit different right now. You know what I'm saying? Dutch dip in his toes. Yeah, I get my feet a little bit wet in something a little bit different. So that brought us here to BMW. And you know what we're going to get at BMW? Tiana, a new car. Psych, a <laughs> freaking Honda. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna get it yet. I'm, I'm filming this just to take you guys along for the experience. Um, funny enough, at our local BMW dealership, there is a beautiful white Type R. You guys, it's been years since I've sold my car number one, but number two, I've said I've wanted this car for so damn long, and I think it's finally time that we pull the trigger. And I found this white one. She is, again, for a second time. She is absolutely beautiful. The white is what I really, really wanted. And uh, we're gonna check her out today and see if we can make some, some deals happen, make some magic happen here. Right, babe? Me. Yeah, well, I brought my negotiator here. I have a personal lifetime negotiator now. We're gonna check this car out today and hopefully, at the end of this video, we're coming home and doing some mods with the Type R. We made it this far, boys. <laughs> we, this, this one starts filling out paperwork. We, we might be by coming the way, home. By the way, everyone, we came here to look. Dustin doesn't just look. Well. Again, we came to look. <laughs> it's official. We are now the proud owner, again, <laughs> of a Civic Type R. This time in white. This thing is absolutely sick. Exactly what I wanted. They actually got this in very, very recently. It just happened. It kind of worked out that we were selling the 86 to top rank and then this popped up. Stars That's aligned. how Dustin justifies it, is when the stars align, he has to do it's it. It's what happened, but no. This, not this most recent time, but the last time I was in Japan, I actually got a ton of stuff from Jay's Racing. Rebought, because I knew one day I was going to get Type R again. So I have like oil cap, radiator cap, shift knob. You gotta knob. put it into the universe and that's what happened. That's, and that's what happened, yeah. So it's, I'm actually super, super stoked. This thing is beautiful. I hope you guys are ready for the build. Let's just, let's bring it to the shop. Let's go on, on the maiden voyage here, on the way to the shop. She feels amazing. Everything that I remembered, just as great, even better than I remembered. I am so hyped right now, guys. She feels good. <laughs> I forgot about the cool little boosty noises that this car makes. Man. It's got like some nice tint around it. It's just, it's smooth. I love 90s JDM cars, smelly Japanese cars. Nothing can ever beat those, but it's very nice to have modern day amenities in a car every now and then. Like this is gonna be such an awesome daily driver for me. I haven't been able to have like a modified fun daily driver in such a long time. And that's what I really want this to be. We'll be able to take this thing to the track, to and from the track, just for fun days and stuff like that. Like this is what that car is really gonna be. You're gonna have fun modifying it. And uh, just overall, just be a, a nice daily driving car. Initial impressions. This thing is badass, guys. <laughs> it's home, officially. I feel like it's gonna look really good in the garage with like the red floors. Yeah, the it already side. does. Oh. oh, she looks right at home. Look at this thing. Man, I'm so happy right now. Look at it. Let's see it under the garage lighting here. Oh, baby, look at that. Is this even real life right now? Just a kid in a candy store. It doesn't even feel like I owned one before. Like, it feels so fresh to me. I know, isn't that crazy? This is literally your second one. But yeah. it's because you didn't really get to do much on the first one. 
I regretted selling that one so much. And if you guys didn't follow me back then, I only had two cars back then. We had the WRX, which just got freshly destroyed by a drunk driver, so that car was out. And I also had my Evo 8, which I had just started the turbo kit on, so that was out. And at that point, I had no cars to build. So then I ended up getting a brand new 2018 Type R. But what also happened at that point is it was a brand new car and there was literally nothing I could do to that car. And at that time, the aftermarket support for the car was very, very slow. But now you literally have everything to do to a Type R. And so my, all my love and my passion from when I had this car back then just flows through me now. <laughs> and I am so damn stoked. So, it is the next day after we just picked up the car. It is the first time the car has ever been in the garage. I've owned it for a total of 24 hours and it's been amazing. I've been driving in time, taking it to the gym. It feels like my daily driver. Dope. So we're gonna do a little walk around. I have a couple mods that I bought in Japan, unknowing that I was gonna get a Type R. I just bought them because I figured at some point I'll get a Type R again. And I'll, yeah, we'll just finish the video off with that. I'm super excited. Okay, it's such a new car and there's so many out there that I'm sure I don't have to do a crazy walk around for you guys. It, it's a Type R, it is what it is. It's bone stock, it's a one owner car. Must have been the guy's daily driver because it does have quite a few miles on it. It has right under 50,000 miles. It's a 2018, so the guy drove it kind of like 10,000 miles a year, which isn't crazy. It was obviously his daily driver which is kind of cool though. He kept it bone stock. It's never been that modified, which is very, very cool. It's a championship white that I really, really wanted. With the Type R, I want it to be like my daily fun track car. And that's what we're gonna gear it towards. You guys know that I absolutely love tracking my cars and it just makes the experience more fun when you have a car that you can actually, you know, push the limits of, so to speak, I guess. And uh, this is obviously the car that I'm gonna be driving every day from now on, but also I want it to have the ability to, I wanna go to the track. I wanna be able to drive this thing to the track and back home from the track. So that's how we're really gonna gear it um, and that's how we're gonna build it. If you guys watched the Japan videos and you guys saw when we got to tour Jay's Racing, I told you guys we have the Spoon S2000, we have the Varus R35 GTR, we did the Gretti 350Z, and I really think this time with the Type R build, we wanna do a Jay's Racing Type R, which is very, very cool. So, with that being said, we wanna get as much Jay's Racing parts on this car as, as possible. I wanna do the Jay's Racing front lip, I wanna do the hood, we wanna do the grill. You guys get the point there, but we wanna do as much Jay's Racing stuff as I can. Also keeping some other JDM goodness in there. I wanna look into getting maybe some HKS parts. It's a really awesome air intake that I want. But you guys will see that as the car progresses on. Like I told you guys, I wanna get into some of the mods that I bought when I was in Japan. Whenever we buy a new, whether it's like a new car or it's a used car, we all know once you get it in your own garage or in your own driveway, you have those little things that you always keep to make your new car your own car. Because this car is my, it's, yes, it's my car, but it doesn't really feel like my car. So let, let's put some parts on it to make it feel like my car. I know we can all relate to that feeling. What I have to make this a little bit more fun here, we'll just go through them fast. Number one, obviously, Legends plate frame. This is like number one rule, come on. <laughs> okay. Also, one of my favorite things to put in any of my daily driver cars, Tree Frog Sense. If you guys have not tried this air freshener in your car, it is amazing. So Tree Frog is the actual brand of air freshener. They just have the best, I always wanna say flavors. They, they always have the best scents. It's like a JDM air freshener is how they kind of market it. My favorite scent is Black Squash. We'll, we'll get a sniff test in whenever it's time. The dealership tried to like make it smell like a new car and like it doesn't. <laughs> it smells like Bubblicious in the car and like, they thought it was cool and it's not. I hate it, so hopefully that can fix that issue. Um, we obviously have a legend sticker, come on. I was just, when you pulled out the license plate frame, I was like, wait, what about a sticker? Come on. And good thing I waited. Come I on. I should have known. Okay, now to the fun stuff. Now, I, I have Jay's racing stickers. I just, I kind of want to wait until I have more Jay's racing parts on the car until I put a sticker on, but coolest part about all of this stuff here and uh, the stickers that I have in my collection upstairs, I bought all of this stuff from Jay's Racing in Osaka, Japan, which is very, very cool. It's like, I didn't order this from a place here or online or anything like that. These are all straight from Jay's Racing. You guys can go check out that video. When I was in Japan, when we got the tour, Jay's Racing is very, very cool. But yeah, what we have here is we have a Jay's Racing, Jay's Racing shift knob. I'll show you guys this more in depth once we can get it all out of the box. We have a radiator cap right here. We have the shift boot ring to make it red because currently it's black and kind of dull 
And then we also have, last but not least, a Jay's Racing oil cap, which is really gonna spice some things up. As you guys know, I love accessory mods, all the little bits really make a car your own and can make the biggest difference. So that's what we're just gonna whip up real fast and let's, uh, let's make this Type R my own. Oh, you know? man. I don't even think I changed the shift knob in my last Type R. No, you pretty much did nothing to it. Damn. That's pretty neat. It's so nice. I love the, the freaking matte black. Yeah, it's sick. I was going to do this shift collar ring thing, but I found out that you actually have to pull out all this plastic right here, which we will be doing. We have a new shifter coming in, a really sick shifter coming in, and we're gonna have to pull the plastics out anyways. So I wanna wait until we get the shifter in and I do that mod to pull plastics. I'd rather not pull this twice and risk breaking a clip or something if we can just do it all in one run. So we'll actually wait on this little shift collar thing, but we can go ahead and actually put on our shift knob now. Which will look good. Yeah. Done deal. Ding. And it'll look nicer when we get this guy on there because it'll have like nice, yeah, the red. nice red accent. But like I said, don't want to risk breaking a clip and pulling the plastics off twice. So finishing touch, do you have the little badge? The signature Waza logo from Jay's Racing on the top. Oh man, does that look straight to you? I don't know, I'm looking at the camera. Okay, here it goes. Beautiful. Oh, oh yeah, perfect. she looks good. Look at that. Okay, we're not done yet though, look at this. We got one more layer. Oh, beauty. That felt good, <laughs> that felt good. She looks freaking sick, dude. That's a sick shift knob. That is very cool. Look at the stance. Ah, ow. I'm gonna tighten that on there. What do we got? Course, what do we got here? Fresh Jays Racing. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. The black, all the black and red, like looks it's so, so good. nice. Matches very nicely. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Way, way Ooh. Okay, and then we're gonna have this. Okay, moment of truth. There she is. Look at that. On the money. That's so nice. I just love how everything literally matches so perfectly and continues to bring out like the red and black yeah. throughout the car. Plus just the championship white. So it's still like pretty dang toasty. We are gonna wait on the radiator cap. So hold me to it. We still gotta do the shift boot ring and the radiator cap. Ooh, she looks good. That's better. Look at that. Nice. What a beauty. Now that's more like it, people, okay? I don't know if we have any of these left on the site, but first thing down in the description box below if you guys want to check it out for yourselves. Last but not least, Legend sticker. I always love one good sticker, like right here, and I figured this awesome Legends logo would go nicely right there. If you guys want the license plate frame or the sticker that we just installed, you guys can check the first link down in the description box below. We have tons of stuff on Legend Set right now. Last but not least, to make this car my own, we have the freshest of all fresh scents, okay? So this is cool. It's made to like go underneath your seat in your car. Everybody bring it in, even, even on the camera, bring it in. Oh, better than the Pokemon card scents. <laughs> that Damn. should be an air freshener. Seriously, smell right. this. this. Ready? Oh my god. That's a good that's a good smell, oh, right? Oh wow. Still got plastic on there. Ooh. It's good. JDM Air Fresher, okay? I think you can find Tree Frog online, but they're local to us, so at like pretty much every car meet that we go to, Tree Frog has like a cool little this our setup. So every time I have the chance to, I stock up on these. I can smell it from here, no yeah. joke. Like I said, black squash is my favorite, but they have a ton of really good scents. So what we're gonna do. Where are we putting it? Underneath the driver's seat. We're gonna put her Stick her in. Right. 
right down there. Nice and fresh. Okay, that's literally everything. That is just the very, very tip of the iceberg of all the amazing plans that we have with this car. I am so damn excited to get started on this thing. And if you guys have any suggestions or things that you would like to see with this car, let me know down in the comments below. I'm still thinking about if I wanna go as far as to do like the Varus front bumper and all of that stuff on here, or if I should just keep it OG body with like the Jay's Racing front lip and stuff. Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I really do wanna do a Jay's Racing type build on this. So it would kinda of lean more towards that, but. Let me know what you guys want to see. Are you excited for this thing? So it's when we have a, a kid, time. guess what? Perfect dad car. <laughs> Perfect, like I go to the track, put a car seat back there, haul whatever we need. It's great. It is awesome. Super, super stoked. Guys, how long have I freaking talked about getting this car for? I know I sold this besides the mm, point. I honestly think two years. It's been, every time we would go to a car show yeah. or I'd see one, I'm like, damn, I really want one. And I'm really happy that we were able to find one in white. So that's my, that, that's what I'm super, super happy about. Sparko's so funny. He gets a treat and he will immediately bolt outside. Okay, good boy, here you go. <laughs> See ya, here we go. Absolutely fantastic movie. It was, I'm hesitant to say, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna give it eight out of 10 instead of a nine or a 10 out of 10, simply because, simply because I would have liked a little bit more backstory on the Predator. This is so far in the past, it would have been really cool to see some sort of very minor origin of why the Predator came to Earth, obviously to hunt and find the top Predator of Earth. But seeing just a little bit of that at the beginning of the film, without any spoilers, would have been so good. This was a fantastic film as a massive fan of Alien and Predator. They did an incredible job and they did the Predator justice. I'm super pumped. I want a sequel. I want to see a Xenomorph in feudal Japan with some samurais. This was like, this was so good and I want to know why it wasn't in the theaters because I would have loved to have that experience. But anyways, great movie. It's on Hulu if you guys haven't checked it out. Definitely go watch it. I'm such a nerd. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. We have a long week ahead. I'm actually heading to Grid Life this weekend. So if you guys want to come see the Type R, we're going to be racing. We're going to be doing some meet and greets. I'll be with Tommy racing Tommy and his Golf R. We're going to beat him on the track. It's going to be great. Come out and see us at Lime Rock. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hope you guys are pumped about the Type R and all the stuff we have planned. It's going to be sick. If you haven't already, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Mm -hmm.